Hey, my brother Nigeria, yeah, thanks for inviting me to our for fish today, man. Uh, you're most welcome, Fred. Uh, yeah, today, um, as you know, we are out here uh, trying to fish for Trevally. Um, we're actually new using the new Rapala uh, Best Spider rod. And uh, this rod is uh, designed as an ultralight rod, but uh, more specifically for saltwater fishing with our Gomoku Soft Series lures. Uh, one of the things we want to look for is uh, a reel that's relatively small. So looking at a 1,000 or 2,000 size reel, uh, because the setup is actually pretty lightweight, uh, the rod is super light, uh, so you want a reel that will actually complement it. Uh, and uh, you need to have a sufficient capacity, maybe about uh, 150 meters of line. Yeah. Uh, so any small reel that can uh, accommodate that uh, is suitable. The other thing that we look out for in a reel is that it needs to have a really good smooth drag. That is very, very important. Right. Um, so, how about the line itself? Like uh, a lot of people are very skeptical when they, they saw you fishing and landing fish. Mm -hmm. It's very thin line. Mm -hmm. So again, it's like how does this thin line helps you with the fishing? And what are the things that we should take care of when we use such a thin line? Okay. Um, the, the line that we're using is a uh, Rapala Rapinova uh, 0.4 PE. Uh, this line is actually rated to 8 pounds breaking straight. But in saying that, it is super, super thin. So what you would, you're would you looking for is a line that's really thin, that can cut through the water uh, because we're fishing very light jig heads. Uh, you don't want a thick line that causes a lot of resistance, a lot of drag. Right. But in saying that, it needs to be strong as well. So, uh, so far we've been using this and it's been really good. Since we are using very light line and we want the light jig head to get to the bottom, yeah. uh, what I recommend is uh, about an 8 pound leader. Uh, the maximum we've ever gone is uh, 12 pound. Yeah. And uh, fluorocarbon is really good. So a very thin, strong fluorocarbon from say 8 maximum to 12 pound, yes. uh, that is most ideal. So it does not have any resistance in the current. So the jig head we normally use is about say 2.5 to 3.5 grams. Okay. And that's depending on the current as well. When the current is very strong and if you were running a 2.5 jig head, it will just drift out and you'll never get to the middle of the uh, uh, water column. Uh, so in that situation, I recommend that when the current is fairly strong, use maybe 3.5, maybe maximum 4 grams. Nice. But when the current is slow and the fish are not really coming up to the surface, then you can use a 2.5 grams and that has a nice natural presentation. So it still drifts down slowly but it doesn't go straight and sit on the bottom. Cool, it's excellent information. There he goes. One of the ways to work the uh, Gomoku soft minnow is actually to slowly wind it back to the boat. And as you're winding, the fish will come and pick it up. This rod has a nice backbone, uh, which is good for lifting fishes like that. Uh, yet a very uh, soft tip, uh, which is uh, good for protecting your light leader from the surges of the fish as they run. Looks wow, like a nice! Nice big one. Yes. Did you slow roll as what we did? Uh, yes, I was uh, slow rolling uh, exactly like what you did as well earlier on and uh, bang, you just hit it and went. Oh, nice size. Right, yes! Alright! We are the main drive! Yeah! Yeah! Madness! Yeah! Finally landed on a nice uh, natural colour. Uh, just right inside the mouth on the edge. Uh, nice fish. Yes, yes, I got it! Yeah, oh, nice. yes, yes! Okay, alright, Brian Nigeria, I was uh, 
I don't know what to do, but I, I sort of thinking like uh, maybe I should work, work the Leo way of like retrieving him back on the steady retrieve. What am I supposed to do right now? <laughs> okay, just to let the fish run, uh, take your time and uh, just let the drag do the job. Right. Uh, these fish don't really fight dirty and go to the rocks. So uh, you're relatively safe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let the rod and the reel do the job. Right, right, right. Yes. Okay, Fred, what you were asking earlier on about what to do with the uh, minnow, you yeah. weren't too sure you were retrieving. What yes. you did actually was correct because with the minnow, sometimes if you're not getting a bite, you just do a slow retrieve back. Exactly what you're doing. You did a slow retrieve, bang, the fish hit it and went. Yeah. And it looks like you got a really nice big one. This is really amazing. I, I have never think that, you know, like uh, such a small little piece of uh, soft plastic, the big fish can really locate it. Oh, it's a good one. Really good one. Wow, yes! that's a good one. Yes! Alright! <laughs> oh. oh, this is really good. It's a nice, really big one here that you've got, Frank. Thank you, thank you so much. Beautiful Whoa. fish. Wow, I'm so happy after what the Brian I just shared with me about catching all this uh, Sagai on Ajing technique. I'm really amazed how this small little uh, Gomuku soft mino works. Uh, it's a very uh, nice fish it actually, and we have a pretty nice uh, proper hookup on the mouth and on a super light tackle. This is extremely fun. Yes, UV pink! Yeah. Yeah. Here it go. Yes. Here it go. Wow, oh, that is fun, man. Slow rolling back. Slow rolling back, and you just smacked it really yeah. hard. Nice. Crazy, man. This lure has a small paddle tail, and what it actually does, it uh, swims and kicks a lot. So as you slowly retrieve it uh, through the water column, the fish will actually find it and pick it up really quickly. It's on the natural transparent colour again. The water is really clear today. Yeah. So I think this colour seems to work quite well. Uh, decent trevally. Uh, it looks like you got a good fish. Yep, yep. and he's quite heavy. Ah, nice. Look uh, at him go. Uh, I'm not too sure that he's one of the trevally that we're after, but you know, I could be wrong. But he well, uh, seems to have a lot of power. Well, well, I can see the nice pen on the rod. So what do you think that uh, when we are landing the fish, some of the things that we should should watch out? What you, what you should do with the rod and what you should not do with the rod? Okay, what you don't want to do is the high stick right. uh, light rod. Uh, and when the fish is uh, coming close to the boat, make sure your drag is not too tight. If he goes under the boat, uh, just try and tip your rod down. But never try to lift your rod nice. uh, too high. Nice. I can see colors. Looks like a nice trevally. Yep. The water is very clear today, so I'm actually using a natural, transparent color. And uh, sometimes you just need to swap and change. Uh, but uh, yep, not a bad fish. Looks like you swallowed the whole thing. Yes. Well done, Yay. mate. Thank you. Not too bad a fish. I shall just get the landing net. You got a nice fish on. Yeah. Yeah. 
this fish uh, looks like Fred had a really good fish on but uh, I think he might have swallowed it and then sawed through the uh, uh, teeth a bit and then uh, cut the leader but uh, it's okay uh, there are quite a few of these fishes around so um, really nice and enjoyable uh, this one took the uh, glow color uh, throughout the day they might uh, take different colors so just uh, try the various different colors and see which one they actually like You got it, you did it. You did it. You did it. Yep. Alright. Yes. Got it. Nice. Happiness. Slowly, patient. Sing the fish. Tying up the fish. Right. You can see it's probably nicely hooked up on the new uh, PMC chick head. I'm using the 3.5 gram, and um, we're pretty happy with the hookup rate of the hooks. I hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, fishing. Uh, please come out and give it a try. Uh, don't be afraid. Um, it's always good to try different methods, different techniques. But we hope that you do come out and give it a try. Mm -hmm.